saying, like the game of basketball, it provides me a platform to be able to help affect people, change lives, inspire, and so I've been trying to do that. Swin has been here for a little over three years now, and in that time, she's made such an impact. I think I've always been rooted in kind of my faith and my belief of being kind of a humble servant. I love the scripture that talks about to whom much is given, much is required. Swin is such a great person because she is not only a leader, she leads by example. So she is not afraid to be boots on the ground out there doing the work herself. And I think she hopes that when people see all the work that she does, they'll be inspired to do it as well. Everyone can say something's wrong, but how many people do? And Swin is someone that does. She helps the community. She helps just those who are socially at a disadvantage. She's a voice. Uh, the one thing about Swin is she doesn't see herself better than anyone else. Uh, and she's one who wakes up in the morning and not only does she think about what she's going to do great for herself in that day, but she's always thinking about others and how she can be of help. So Swin came to uh, Lish and I and Greg Bensel, who's the executive chair of the Social Justice Leadership Alliance, and mentioned that um, the ADL really wanted to find a way to do something on a much broader scale as it related to voting rights, and that meant greater access to voting. So one idea that came to the table was using the Smoothie King Center as a voting location. It was a centralized location, and as we can remember during COVID, there were so many concerns about finding enough people to work the polls, and so how do we just bring everyone together? People ask me all the time, like, how did you win as a player? Well, I won because I care about every single teammate that's at the table and making sure that we can come together, build that secret sauce, and move forward. And to have the impact that we did to bring in kind of like the state, to bring in the Smoothie King, to bring in uh, different people. I think that's what New Orleans is all about. So I've been able to work with Swin on a couple of different projects. Um, one that comes to mind was a project that we did for the homeless around Thanksgiving. She, as always, took it to the next level and wanted to be sure to provide hygiene kits specifically for the women. She had met with some people and learned that that was a need, especially here locally, and so wanted to be sure that we fulfilled that need. So it's just great having somebody like that in our building, and especially with our players and on the basketball ops side, who can help kind of encourage that sort of work, who understands the needs of the community and is ready to champion for them. On a personal level, she takes time to pour into all of us as colleagues. There are countless times that she pulls us aside and says like, hey, you good? Like, how can I help? There's so many women and girls that she's had an impact on since she's been here. If she weren't being honored for this, I'd say honor her for something else. She deserves all the awards. Swin deserves to be recognized because she is someone who recognizes the power of the platform that she's been given and she doesn't take it for granted. She is sure to use that platform for good and to inspire kind of change in our community and growth within others. So Swin is more than deserving of an award of recognizing her impact because she does it because she cares. People talk about legacy all the time. I, I don't look at it as so much legacy, but I look at it as like impact. Like, what do you want your impact to be? And my impact, I want it to be not only for myself, but I think more so for our team and for our organization, is that we touch more people. We touch a variety of different people. Swin, it is with great pleasure and honor, and just I'm so, so happy for you. You are more than well deserving of this award. So congratulations, Swin. Swin, congratulations. Thank you for all you do. Thank you for everything that you bring to this city, to the partnership with ADL. We're proud to have worked with you. We're proud to continue working with you. And we look forward to wherever that may take us. Congratulations. Hey, Swin, you know how I feel about you. You know how much I love you. You know how much I appreciate you and all that you do for all people. Uh, we love you. Uh, we thank you for giving of your time because that's the most precious thing that you can give. But I want to say congratulations to you and all that you do, and there's many more to come. Hi, Swin. Just wanted to say congratulations on your award. We're so lucky to have such a champion of the community on our team and incredibly proud to call you a co-worker and a friend. Swin, you have been an amazing colleague and even more amazing friend. And as a New Orleanian, I am so happy and honored to have you here with us and to call you one of our own now. Congratulations for this well-deserved honor. I'm so proud of you and just so thankful to have you in our lives.